In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a flickering text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we first just want to begin by creating a brand new text layer. So we can go down to this icon here, which is our type tool, or alternatively, you can see in brackets, we've got the letter T and that is our keyboard shortcut. So you can press that or you can press T on the keyboard to load up the type tool. Then we're just going to go over to here and we're just going to type out our word or our phrase. So in this example, I'm just going to do my last name, which is Brooker. Then I'm going to hold command and A. That is on Mac. Windows, I believe, is control and A. So that is select all. Then we'll go over into the text field over here. So you've got effect controls, graphics, text, and then your text will be in those brackets. And then from here, you can change the font. So I'm going to change to monster at bold. Then you can center align this, left align this, do whatever you need to do with this. You can increase or decrease the size of this. And I'm going to start off by increasing the size and then I'll decrease it later on. Then you can move down to appearance. You've got fill, so you can change the fill color if you wanted, but I'm just gonna keep mine at white. And then just above the appearance, we've got this option here, and that says V slash A or VA. And at the moment it's set to zero, and this is our tracking or kerning. And this is basically just going to increase the spaces between each character. And because we're going to separate all of these into individual layers later on, we want to increase this to make that a bit easier for ourselves later on. So I'm just going to increase this up to around 100. Can maybe come down a little bit, maybe around 80. That should do. We should be able to get a clean mask between all of those letters now. And then once you've done that, you just want to go down to transform and then press the reset parameter button. And then you can do that on all of your different axes. So make sure they're all centered up. And then we'll just go back into source text and we'll center this up here by using this button and there. As you can see there, this isn't exactly in the middle. So I'm just going to pull the position down a little. And now that is in the middle. So now that we've made our text, now we need to go ahead and make multiple copies of this text layer because we want to isolate each individual letter. So we want a layer for the B, a layer for the R, a layer for the O, a layer for the O, a layer for the K, E and R. So we need seven layers in total. So I'm going to copy and paste this six times. So the first way of doing this is to go Command C or Control C, move over and then Command or Control V, and that should paste. And then you just stack this on top like this. Or alternatively, if you're on Mac, you can just hold the Option button down and then just drag that text there up onto video layer two and then release the Option button. And then just keep repeating this process until you've got all of the layers that you need to complete this effect. There you go. So we've got seven layers now. So that's a layer for each individual letter. But at the moment, unfortunately, we just have seven layers that all have the entire word, the entire Brooker on them. So we need to isolate these and turn these all into the individual letters. So we'll go to video layer one, select that text there. We'll go into effect controls, go down to opacity, select the free draw bezier tool, and we'll just draw a mask around the B like this. Then we'll go to the next layer and we'll do the same thing again. So free draw bezier and draw a mask around the R. Then we'll just keep repeating this process over and over again until you've got a mask around each individual letter so that each letter is now on their own track. And there you go. If I go through each individual layer and I turn these off one by one, you can see these are now all on their own layer. And that's exactly what we need to do in order to animate these in using the flicker effect. So now in order to do that flicker animation, all we have to do is just offset the start time on all of these layers. So the title on video layer one can stay at zero seconds. Video layer two can go across a little bit. Video layer three can go across just a little bit. Four can go across quite a bit. Five can go in between there. Six can go into this gap here. And then seven can go all the way over there. So when we play this back, you can see they all come on at random times. Now at the moment that wasn't very quick. So if that was the case in your example, then you can just close down the gap between all of these individual layers. So that you get this really fast animation. Let's play this back, see how that looks. That looks really cool. Of course you can animate them on so that it comes on in the correct order and in order to do that, So 
So in order to do this, all you have to do is make sure that each layer is two keyframes over to the right so that there is a small offset here and that will animate on like this. As I say though, you can just put these in at random times to animate in in a random order like this and that creates that flickering effect. Now, of course, it's the same process for the out as well. So that was the in. If you want to animate out using this flicker effect, then just offset all of these endpoints and they'll flicker off as well. Of course, you can also do this in the middle of the animation. So roughly two, two and a half seconds in, if we press C on the keyboard to load the razor tool, that is this tool over here, you can just make a cut through all of these individual layers and then we'll just go roughly a frame or two over on each layer, make another cut and then we'll just delete that gap that we have in the middle. And when we play this back, you can see there's this random flicker. So once you're happy with your flicker animation, if you select all of those layers, right click and select nest, we can rename this to flicker or flick it because there was a misspelling there. We can now see now that they're all in their nested sequence, we can affect the scale, we can affect the position, we can do whatever we like with this and all of those layers are going to be affected at the same time. But there you go, that is how you create this flickering text animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching, I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.